Hello everyone, uh, thanks for tuning into the AFV factory. I thought um, it was about time we had a bit of a catch up and to see where I'd got to on these um, two E-tanks, the 25 and the 75. So quite a bit has been done since the last time that I posted um, with regard to the, uh, the 75. So it had a coat of semi-gloss uh, varnish to seal in the paintwork and I then started weathering it and I wanted to go with a sort of quite a dark dirty look for this vehicle because of the um, diorama that it was is going to be sitting in so first I first go over it I did a wash with this AK um, for NATO camo, camo NATO camo vehicles which as you can see is um, virtually black and which tied in nicely with the color that I'd done the wheels in and as I said with the um, with the diorama and then once that had dried I went over it and I used um, this track wash purely again because it's very dark um, and the brown just lifts the model a little bit um, the, the black is very very harsh obviously so the brown just um, tones down that harshness quite a bit. So um, I've been over the tools again, as I said I was going to, and did some work on the, um, the wooden handles for the tools, and they look better now and happier with those. Um, I did some streaking with the brown down, down the glaciers. As you can see there, and all the um, all the wash has, have been brushed downwards to give that impression of um, dirty rain or rain that's come down onto a dirty vehicle and it running down the side of the vehicle. I also um, went along the track guards with a with the scratchy side of a sponge once the um, enamels had, enamel had dried and I just put some low odors thinner on there and dragged it across and what it did is it gives you those scratch marks there which obviously simulates um, the vehicle moving through shrubbery and trees and stuff brushing up against it and um, scraping off the, um, the dirt so that's quite realistic effect I'm pleased with how that looks. Um, so yes, yeah, so there's not a lot more to do on this. Um, the exhausts still need doing, and um, as do the shackles. Um, just and just a few bits and pieces. Really, I'm sort of deciding whether I'm going to wrap the barrel in wire um, the same way as I did on the E50 um, Yag Tiger and then put some foliage in there and tuck some foliage in around the tools etc i might do i might not i'm undecided um, and the other thing really it needs is some wet fluids again by ak just to simulate puddles here and there and i can do runs with that as well where the water's run down um, and a bit more work on the engine deck again water for where the um, uh, the water's topped up and also uh, fuel stains around where the fuel goes in. So yeah, so it's um it's it's getting close to being finished this one. So I'll move on to the the E25. So the last time I posted, um, I basically finished with the paint, and that as far as I had got. So since then. I've um, been over it and done chipping and scuffing. Um, again, either using a sponge for the chipping um, or again using this scratchy material and using that to add um, scuffs and scratches in and it's worked quite um, quite effectively. I'm pleased with, with the results that I've got there. Um, and it can obviously be improved on as everything can be improved on but i'm i'm glad that it's worked how i sort of hoped it would do 
so the wheels have been done um, the exhaust is now painted so I'm pleased with how that came out so yeah so that now is just really waiting for um, a coat of varnish and then I can crack on with the um, task of making it dusty um, obviously this is a wet uh, wintry vehicle and this is a, a summer dusty vehicle so they're both chalk and cheese which is what I wanted I wanted to do the two together and um, do it as a contrast uh, so yeah I just don't think there's much else that I can um, add to that now really the next post that I do with these um, I would imagine that the E75 will be finished um, and the um, E25 will not be far behind it so I'll leave that there with these for now thanks for again thanks for tuning in and having a look at what I'm doing please like and subscribe um, it's nice to know that people are in, out there are enjoying what I'm doing and any comments like that'd be great I'm always pleased to talk to people about what I'm doing and why I'm doing that or um, just to hear your views on um, what you think about my stuff so Thanks a lot and I'll catch up with you soon.